Detectives. I personally think detectives are pretty dope. Just being able to take nothing and just be like, dang, that's a clue, man. Among the top, in my opinion, are probably Sherlock Holmes, Batman, Sean Spencer, and very quite possibly this frog. Oh, beautiful. He walks like a real pro. He's got the confidence level. Oh, a phone. Hello. Can I pick you up? No. Hello. Detective. Hello. Who is it? It's a supervisor. We're all screaming. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Pretty good. Thanks, supervisor. Oh, man. That's a beautiful painting back there, man. You have great taste. Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Pretty cool, supervisor. Ah, well, well salam at the tank Kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. I wouldn't know. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I can handle spooky. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ghostbusters right there. What's well, a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. Those ghost scientists. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa! Can't find a ghost in two weeks? My butt. The ghost is still at large. Wow. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. That's just the right thing to say when somebody asks for your best investigator, right? But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Oh. That's kind of hurtful, if I'm being honest. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. That's kind of hurting my feelings, t truthfully. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Okay, at least I'm humble about it. Yeah, but you're pretty good. Thanks, man. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. Yeah, I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. Thanks, supervisor. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Dang. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna do so much detecting. Let me pick up that crap. Pick that up. Ah, uh, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right-click to see things up close. <laughs> you know I can. Grab it. Got your magnifying glass. Cool. All right, time to solve a mystery. You know it. All right, let's get detecting. Grace Bruxner presents. This is gonna be a dope intro. Frog Detective Adventure. Oh man, what a beautiful face. Programming by Thomas Belker. Soundtrack by, oh, I didn't read that. Magnifying Glass, yeah baby. Wow, that is a that is a haunted island. That's crazy. It's looking very haunted and stuff because it has lights and also lightning and it's an island, so. Starring the detective. Martin and Larry, the lobster cop. Wait, no, Mo the Mouse Mouse. Oh. Bernie. What are you, a koala or a bear? Fresh eggs. Fresh X, nice. And the rest. Wow! Poorly photoshopped animals. Great. Case number one, the haunted island. I'm ready to get to, uh, down to some detecting and real life investigating, man. Hello! MM. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Thanks, man. Well, wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured it out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? 
That's a, that's a pretty good case. Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm MysteryMonkey49. I comment all the time. Thanks, man. Thanks for showing the support. Also, it's plug time. You guys want to comment on this video? We'll do it. It'll be good. Thanks, man. And t woman. To not be segregational. I, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but I use man as a general term. So, don't get mad. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. If you guys make funny jokes, I'll respond. I'm just kidding, I'll stop. Of course, I rem of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. <laughs> you can just call me Mystery Monkey. Oh, of course. Can I call you some questions? Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. Where to start? Nothing right now. I want to know about the resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, uh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. I feel like forests are probably a worse place to, like, get caught by ghosts. That might just be me, but... What would you like to know? Um, nothing right now. I'll go find Martin. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Alright, let's go do some darn investigating. Oh, wow, this is a great magnifying glass. Oh, I can make that flower look disturbing. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's very much a concave lens. I want to steal that. This might come in handy. Cool. I actually can steal it. That's fun. Okay. No, some hole. Noises? Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is a ghost? I'm not qualified. Yeah, you don't sound that qualified. But hey, at least you're trying. By me. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh yeah, just like in Scooby-Doo. Alright, what's up, man? Noodle. That's a cool name. Hey, how's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely can't say just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. Fair enough. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Noodle. Why are you bored? Isn't that thing ghost supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. I guess if you're just standing over a hole for, like, two weeks, you'd get bored. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. This hole. What's up with the hole? What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. That's helpful. Why? It never does anything. Okay. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Fair enough. I don't want to see holes either. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked, no ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Could be. Did you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. Oh, ghost noise. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. I want to be around the noisy hole too. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Okay. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. Okay, so I'm pretty useless, it seems like. Your wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, oh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. Mm. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Weird. Wool's pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway. I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've ever heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. 
Plus, I'm pretty sure the short your shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? Pretty sure, yeah. Gross. It's kind of gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. Probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. I don't need to talk to you. I'm finished talking to you. Get out of my way, Noodle. Just kidding. I love you, Noodle. No questions right now. Thanks. Okay. So I can't just take that. I need to go find something else. Starfish. Why are you in the water? Hello, Mr. Starfish. You are looking so smart. You're beautiful. You're pretty. Good job being pretty and beautiful. Let's talk to Mr. Koala Man. Koala. Oh, his name is actually Koala. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. I didn't know being a ghost detective was this fun. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Oh, okay. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Mm, ghosts can't swim. That's... I haven't seen any evidence to the contrary. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask you why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I have a magnet! Huh? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh? Why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. That's a good dream. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. That's a good idea. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Um, let me give him the magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? I'm for real. It's a, the magnet's real. Yeah, this is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem, koala. Oh, no problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Yeah, I got a shell. That's good. I hope I didn't need the magnet for anything that important. Okay, so that's the noisy hole. Let me take your noodles. Yum, but it's not mine. Okay, so I can steal magnets, but I can't steal anything else. Do I really want to talk to you guys? I think I'd rather do something with the hole. I can't get any further down. Okay, I didn't realize you wanted me to get in the hole. Ah, oh, there's another smart fish. Starfish, I mean. Beetle! Steal the beetle. Wow, look at him being cool. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm a detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you d -tech? Probably. Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, d -tech. That's a pretty cool name. It's kind of bodacious. Your clothes. Your smile. Your clothes. I don't know why. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. I was right about the two weeks. <laughs> it's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a, pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, d -tech. Your smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Yeah, you do. Thank you, I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Ty smiles, 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. This turned into an advertisement. Dr. T Ty smiles, 101 t tooth whitening cool paste for teeth? Wow, that's cool. Where can I get some? I get a ship shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last two. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more, some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech.
Okay, so basically that was semi-useless. Let me see what's happening back here. Okay, so Martin, he's afraid of stuff, right? Well, that's a cute snake. Look at him being a nerd and looking like a dump. Anyway. Hello, Martin. Martin. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. It's visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Fair enough. Okay, I'll do my best. I wouldn't say that he's the spookiest looking dude. He's just kind of derpy. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. That's bad. I'm pretty sure you're gonna maybe die? I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley, so I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. You gonna tell me? Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. You got questions for me? Who's Finley? I wanna know about Finley. You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? Martin sighs. I smell a motive. She's probably trying to sabotage him. Maybe she thinks... These dance moves are quite radical, and she wants to win. She wants it to be a shoe in Just saying. Okay, your nerves. About the noises. Let's know about the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. Oh, how do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. Okay, It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. I, I can't argue with that logic. If you haven't seen a ghost, then it's probably a ghost. Got questions for me? Um, dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition, can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Got questions for me? That was pretty useless. I guess I'll just ask a last question. You seem super nervous, is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kinda annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Yeah, bottom of the grave more like. What? That made more sense in my head. Yeah, Martin, just think, think things through better, okay? I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. Okay. That's very dark dark just like the conclusion to this tale sorry if i'm being dramatic you know i'm a good de you know i'm good a good detective right i've solved every case i've taken on except for the mystery of how to put a hat on my head is a strange shape fair enough it really is the point is you're safe i'm gonna find the culprit the best thing you can do is sit and relax everything will be okay i don't feel okay i'm finding it really hard to calm down I understand, ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What the? What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. Aren't you on a beach with cool waves? It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Cool! Perhaps a piece of my crown. You got a chunk of pure gold. That's pretty dope. I just needed to act like a fake therapist. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? 
No, nope. see ya, man. Okay, now what do I do? All the bugs here look super fantastic. I'm stepping on him, but that's fine. Hey, that's what we need! Ooh, a broom! Alright, let's go sweep up some skin. Not skin. A uh, hair. Broom. I got a broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. Yeah, that would be weird if he wanted me to knock myself out. Okay, so what do I need to do with the crown and the wool? Probably something important, right? Maybe this mouse. Oh, he's got a magnifying glass too. Wow, he looks he looks really big with the, with the magnifying glass. Okay, let's talk to this mouse. Hello, mouse. Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. <gasps> if I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Okay. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. The ghost. I get that you're nervous. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? <gasps> Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know, uh, you know, because you like toast. Yeah, what have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure, heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out though. It's your thing. Questions, yes. Uh, you're nervous. You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you, um, I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine, you've worn me down. Dang your extreme detective skills. Nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Okay, so I actually did need to know this. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm, there's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. Okay. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouth wash in return. I need that. I need to talk to you, Mystery Monkey. I need to... Uh, see what type of dancing you like. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Where to start? Dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh... I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kinda. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, if you saw someone dancing. In what scenario would you most likely be like, This is such a great dance. These are great questions. What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, What dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. Yeah. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. Wow. That's commitment. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Got a monkey fact. Oh, I love monkey facts. Okay, dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? It's so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. That's pretty cool. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers.
Oh, thanks for the mouthwash. All right, I just gotta go dump this in an alligator. His mouth. Wow, that's a cool dance, man. That's like basically break dancing, but like not at all. So, mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Got toothpaste. It's like got milk, but toothpaste edition. Okay, so what the heck do I need toothpaste for? Do I stick the wool all together into a ball? I want your cannoli. That's cannoli, right? Bernie, hey, you're that detective, right? The one that M Monkey keeps going on about? That's me. So glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why did you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? Fair enough. It seems kind of like a cover. One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? Okay. Um. About this hall. What do you know about the noises coming from this hall? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know, but... It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Birdie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? I could be a secret agent. I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to him about being a secret agent. Maybe he'll give me some junk. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Yeah, I saw it. That's pretty cool. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Well, I know where to get a stupid magnifying glass. Hello. I want that. Whoa. You're gonna whack me with that? Ah, stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. Oh, I got a shell. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass? Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. Tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. I don't see a big shell around here. Do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Just be careful. I have a shell, you ding-dong. Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. You have the crappiest attitude, Orbit. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it, won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing, Mood. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. Cool. Okay, so now I can give it to him. What else do you want to know? I want to give you a magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent, agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. A little weird, but I'll let it fly. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Got some pasta, baby. Okay, so now who the heck do I give the pasta to? It's probably him, right? 
You want some pasta, fool? Larry, hi, it's me, Larry. Hello. I did not do that, huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. I don't think he made the noises. He wouldn't. He wouldn't do that. I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Well, the noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yep. Yeah, but I know where they're coming from. <gasps> what? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Aw, oh, man. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they mean I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things to get through there. You'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. I have, like, all that crap. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Yeah. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them. The questions I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. All right. Let's get exploding. All right. Let's blow it up. Well, this is it. Yeah, time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry, time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Let's blow it up. What was that? Whoa, crazy action. This is crazy. It's freaking me out how action-y this is. Wait, so I'm in the cave now? I am in the cave now. Okay. If there's much left... Then this game is longer than I thought. Oh, it's. I forgot her name, but wow. Those are some sick dance moves. Oh, you've just been practicing, haven't you? Got it. Finley. Oh, hi. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Haha, <laughs> what? I don't think so. This is Finley. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh. Who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Finley. This is great. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? Holy crap. I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Ah, uh, nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. Fair enough. No, it's a fact. Okay. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because there's been, he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. Sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know, we've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> it's funny because they could have died. That didn't actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep.
We're going to the island. Got it. Case solved, brother. Martin. Huh? Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing there? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. Noises from a radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But, my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It was just Finley. Just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Yep. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are without exception, factually inaccurate. Fair enough. Yep. Grace Buxner, hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the de detective on most issues, there are in context in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. No, I don't want to learn. They just tricked me into learning. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. A minute to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Huh, well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry, is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Indeed. Let's go. Wow, this is weird. <laughs> this is like on the verge of nightmarish. I'm getting disturbed right now. I like can't look away. It's like melting my brain as we speak. Dang, that monkey's getting down. Oh, Martin. Okay, I think we practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Oh, this is disturbing. No, don't make me see this. No, no, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna die! I don't wanna see this. Is, is anybody else disturbed by the, like, how fluid the movements are? Like, it's like... Oh, it's disturbing. It's scaring me. Wow, he's so much taller than the rest of them. I'm, like, scared out of my mind. What's happening? Please, just let me, let me go past. Can you not? Please. Oh my gosh, why is this still happening? Uh, I just, I don't. I, yeah, I get it, you're boogieing down. But that's, that one's especially disturbing. Oh no, it's the white. No, no. Oh, that's disturbing. Pick the winner. I didn't pay attention. I was too busy being disturbed. Uh, you did a good job. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Good for you, man. You really... You really won the dance competition. Uh, huh? Yep. You guys are like, you do, uh, you're doing this for too long. It's way past the point where it's like friendly and it's more like haunt my dreams for the rest of my life type deal. Okay. A little bit later. Okay, so I gotta answer the phone. Okay, so 
just happened. There's the phone. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. <laughs> Lobster Cop's fantastic. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD? Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? Maybe. I can handle anything. Oh, yay, the invisible wizard. I'm looking forward to that. Is it just me or did that at some point go from being just a really simple game to feeling like a fever dream? Ah, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of weird and slightly disturbing in some ways, but hey. That's it, just but hey. So, I guess if you like this and you want to see the second one, go ahead and comment that's a detective, man. And then, yeah, just just type that in. Guys, if you like this video, please also give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye